Hey, so this is from the pit to the palace. This is Kelly Laws. I'm documenting my journey. So let me tell y'all how good God is. So there have been, um, I have had the awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity of being able to minister to people in real time on, um, on TikTok. And it's been a journey and it's been a, a very, very good, it's, it's been a very good experience. I'm just, I'm just marveling at my hair, y'all, because I ain't had my hair cut this short in a long time, but I've just been marveling at the journey. I'm going to tell you why I've been marveling at the journey. You know, um, I remember when God um, ignited me and, and, and caused the time clock to go off inside of me, December the 13th, 2023. I'll never forget the moment. I was at home. I was, um, I, was um, I had to go to work uh, that morning. And a friend of mine, um, well, actually it was before a friend, when I woke up that morning, I knew that my whole world had changed. And I knew that my world was about to change, you know, in an instant. But you don't ever know the um, the magnitude and the depth in which things are going to happen. You don't know the way that God is going to take you because when you say yes, um, yes means yes to God, meaning that any way that you need to use me, I will be used. So when it happened, <coughs> and I said yes, I got up that morning, I'll never forget, I can't, it's hard to put it in human terms, but... Um, I woke up and I just knew everything had changed. I knew my alarm clock had gone off in the spirit realm. And I knew God was telling me it's time to go. It's time for you to launch your ministry. And I didn't know the depth of what that meant because I personally thought I was in my ministry. But he said, no, I need you to launch your ministry. And I said, okay, God, what do you mean by that? And he said, I want you to start going on live. And I want you to start talking about assignment. I want you to start talking about purpose. And I kept trying to do it. No, so let me take that back. Before I talk about how I kept trying to do it. So um, I got up that morning, put my clothes on, and went to work, and the rest is history. And when I tell you that I got to work, and I was talking to my friend online, I was talking to Lisa, and I, and I, was, tell, I was trying to explain to her in human words what God was doing. And when I tell you that God moved that day, I sat, at, this is before anybody got to work, I sat in the hallway of, of my job. Nobody was there. It was just very few people in the office. There was really no teachers there, and the kids hadn't come in. It was like maybe about, um, let me process the time. Let me see, 7.30. It was maybe about 6.30 in the morning, 6.40, something like that. And I sat in the hallway on the stairs, and I knew that my world was not going to be the same. I knew that God was about to do something major in my life. I knew that God was going to... Um, move powerfully in my life. I knew he was. I knew that he was about to move me, but I didn't know the extent of how he was going to move me and what he was going to do. But I said yes, and he said launch the ministry. I said okay. And um, and I was telling, and it was like when I was in the hallway of the job, it was like, you're not going to be here long. Um, just take it all in. Look at the kids when they're passing by. When you go into the classroom, because, you know, I wasn't a teacher that year. I mean, this is this past school year, but I was a reading specialist because they had lost so many teachers, like 40-some teachers. They were those of us who had, you know, um, who were former teachers. They called us back to the classroom, and I was, like, very miserable, very unhappy. And I just I knew, I was like, God, you got to get me out of this. But um, but I was still doing it anyway because, you know, you don't want to complain. But it was like I was just not very happy. And, um, and I remember it was like God was telling me, take it all in because you're getting ready to take a leap of faith. And I said, okay, so I... Was I paid attention to people, places, and things. I um, spent more moments with the kids. You know, um, I had a, 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 a hallway duty in the morning where I stood in the hallway where the junior high kids would go upstairs um, in that hallway. And then we had the babies, which were the kindergartners, that would take the other way. And I just paid attention to them. I made sure that I, I smiled at them, I hugged them. They didn't know I was leaving, but I knew I was leaving. I didn't know when, because, you know, God could have said just stay to the end of the year. I didn't have clear and, and distinct directions, but I knew that my time was winding up. Um, and I just remember um, it was very clear. You're not going to be here long. Um, your your um, Kairos time clock has gone off in the spirit, and um, Kairos and Kronos had collided, and I knew my world was never going to be the same again. I knew it. I knew it wasn't. I was going to... Um, 
take a leap of faith later, which I'm now looking back like, wow. So that's what he was preparing me for. So I um, went into the uh, classroom that day, very attentive, very discerning, very um, aware that it wasn't going to be time. It, 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 I mean, it wasn't going to be long. I'm sorry. I just knew it. And then March came, which was the week of spring break. I knew it was, I mean, everything had come down to that moment. I was burnt out. I was tired. I was irritated. I was annoyed. And I was um, frustrated. And God allows things like that to happen because when he's closed doors, because that door had closed, uh, and you continue to stay in a, a, a closed environment, um, you're, God will allow frustration to come in because it's time to go. And he says, your, when he ignites you in the spirit realm and he tells you now is the time for your assignment, um, it's time sensitive, meaning that you have a very little time to do everything that you do from this point forward because you're in assignment is time sensitive. Everything is time sensitive and there's no way around it. It's going to happen as long. I mean, if you're a believer, it's going to happen to you. Now you can be obedient like me. I mean, uh, you can be obedient or you can kind of like hang uh, a little bit if you want to, but spring break came and I took the leap of faith and I'm, I'm, I had to move to my promised land. In addition to, I started doing recordings and here I am. And now I'm on TikTok. I've started um, my channel on YouTube because he kept telling me to do it on YouTube. And I and I was kind of hesitant. I was like, God. And he was like, you need to put your stuff on YouTube. And I need you to document your journey, what I'm doing now, so people can see in real time um, what it looks like to walk by faith. And um, the rest is history. So here I am on YouTube. And... Um, you know, and, and he has just spoke prophetically about what he's going to do for me. You know, put me on the stages. Um, and I'm talking about physical stages where I'm going to actually be on stages uh, pouring into people about destiny and about purpose and about assignment. You know, he wants me to give people keys to uh, be unlocked into the wealth that God has created for them in this hour. You know, people are are so hungry for wanting to know there has to be something more. That something more is your assignment. That's something more is the place that God created for you. The, the the very books that were written about you, God is so, so attentive to um, getting you in the moment of the now. He wants you to be in your now moment. He wants you to be in your assignment. You know, he has written a book about you with your name on it. And he's telling me, Kelly, document your journey so people can see what it looks like when you go from the pit to the palace. Now, you guys see me here in this little one room, you know. But tomorrow I'm going to be in my mansion. I'm going to be in my palace. And I'm telling you that ahead of time. Um, you're going to see me on stages. And um, I'm going to be still recording these videos to talk about how I got there. You're going to see in real time how I got there. You know, I'm going to be in different events, meet different celebrities. I already know that. I mean, it's been ordained. My life has, was playing way before I got here. And um, I'm telling you guys right now... Um, I'm going to be uh, uh, have the opportunity to go to the Tony Awards, the Oscars, the Academy Awards. I told God I want to go to the Grammys too. Um, wow, I'm going to have a house in Martha Vineyard, Albert, and I will always want to live there. Um, have a house there, you know, some for the summer. But I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. I'm going to literally be on stage. You're going to see me on the cover of fashion magazines. You're going to see me on the cover of magazines where I'm going to be doing interviews because I. Um, I'm an agent of change, and I know that I am. And uh, God has called me um, for to stay just so that I could, because there are people that I have to meet, people that are assigned to me that are that are not celebrities, and some are assigned to me that are. And um, God is, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's going to happen in real time. And I think the exciting part about it is I know it's happening. It's part of my destiny from a kid. I was going to do it. I didn't know it was going to be this. I thought it was going to be fashion. But God said, nah, that, was, that is a talent. That's not your assignment. And there's a difference. Um, so the excitement is you guys are with me in this journey, and I'm documenting. And um, I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. Um, and I want to encourage you, if you're not in your assignment, and you don't know how to get there, wait on God, because he's going to get you there. God is going to get you to your assignment. 
if you trust him and if you say yes to him and then wait on that time sensitive awakening and that alarm clock to go off on the inside of you and you step forward when the alarm clock goes off you're going to go on the greatest adventure of your life there's there are people that are already where i'm going to be like i look at tabitha brown you know he always told me just watch tabitha's life learn from her life because um you're gonna be in demand just like that okay see you guys love y'all and my name is kelly laws and this is my journey from the pit to the palace